Hello everybody, Mr. Posh here. Um, I'm gonna go over a sketching assignment which we will use animals as reference to learn strategies to build up our drawings from the ground up. And um, so the criteria here is gonna be simple. We just want to take complex forms, much like animal forms, and turn them into basic shapes. So we want to dissect the structure and abstract them, and that's it. So as an outsider, what we want to do is forget all the details. You know, the fur, um, sometimes the eyeballs, the shading for, the, for now. We're going to forget that all. And what we want to do is just kind of look at the animal and dissect it into basic shapes and structures and outlines. And, um, you know, there's not one way to do this, meaning that sometimes you guys are going to see different shapes. Some, some of you guys are going to be like really simple and try to do maybe too little. Some of you guys might see way too much and try to draw too many shapes. Um, we kind of want to just kind of get right in between there. So I would say the minimum amount of shapes you guys need for these animal sketches, I would say, I would say bottom is three, but I would try to do at least four and you're probably going to do a little bit more than that, depending on the animal. Um, a lot of the animals that I chose for you guys for the handout, which you guys will see on the page, um, I think are in profile, so it's a little bit easier. These are in profile, meaning they're kind of, you know, we're looking at the side of them. This one's a different perspective here. He's looking right at us. I chose this example just so you can see how artists kind of map out the, the, the shapes to these because you can see when, when we get to different angles, looking at the details can be a little daunting. All right, so anyways, um, what we wanna do here, and I'm gonna use these as examples, they're different than the ones I have on your paper, just cause I wanna see you guys do that on your own, is, uh, you know, we'll use, the, I'm gonna use the space right here. You guys are probably gonna use one to two sheets of your sketchbook paper here, um, and just a pencil with a eraser. Mechanical pencil can work Great for this. So just give yourself, you know, a little warm up, draw some lines back and forth, you know, on a scrap piece of paper somewhere. Keep those lines, try to practice, keep those lines light, lines, circles, ovals, whatever kind of loosens that up, okay? So what we wanna do, let's start off with the bear and I would say, let's start off with the big shape that we see the body and um you know he's kind of got this pear shape going on he's got a hump right here but i'm just gonna kind of go through that probably just kind of like this oval here you know also noticing the angle it's not directly flat it kind of comes in a little bit so i'm just gonna kind of map that out and if these don't come out perfect don't worry these are not supposed to be perfect drawings so hopefully that's a little bit comfortable for you kind of hump in the, the butt right there okay and I'm just gonna stop it right there it's probably a little bit longer but just so I don't run out of space okay so you can see how light that is and um, one thing this teaches us as artists too is, you know, get the structure down first before you get into details. A lot of artists want to start with like the face, the eyes, like that's what they're drawn to. But uh, we want to, don't always want to start with that first. All right. And so then I'm looking, let's kind of look at the back hip here. We can see where we're looking at angles. You can see where it humps up right here. And we kind of see this line of the leg. Looks like it goes straight down. Let's kind of light first. And then the leg comes down at this angle. Kind of like this. And then even more so like the foot. 
right about there and then the feet just kind of looks like these squares for now so let's just keep them square again just kind of simple low organic lines sometimes very geometric kind of like this rectangle flat rectangle for the foot these don't have to be complete shapes but just kind of open here okay now we get this hump here notice i'm going to overlap I'm going to run out of space here, which is not cool. And let's see, just kind of maybe just one direction this way. And then looking at the direction, kind of back of that leg goes down this way here. Kind of aligns to the foot. Also looking at how angles work and align with other angles and i'm missing the head which is not good <laughs> for my demo all right and then um maybe the, before i get to the head and try to do that let's do this other leg which got some space in in here and it looks like it just kind of pops out right there another like little okay looking pretty good the proportions a little off belly comes down a little bit more but that's pretty much it okay so you can it's more like an impression now the head um let's see so if i did the head i'm just going to do it up here i'm kind of missing the space here so i had just start off kind of with the circle and so we want to get that size we want and um, I think the only other things I see here, are kind of the ears. So looking for the placement, so these half ovals work. You know, still keeping my lines light. Um, you guys done some spheres. I don't want this to make look at like form just yet, but we'll get to that next week. And let's just say snout. And so just really concentrate. Don't think of it too much as a snout. Think of it like what shape is that outline right there? Okay. And if you want to add in some eyeballs, maybe go for it. I think where the eyes are supposed to be. And if you want to add a little triangle for the nose, there we go. Okay. And this would be connected to the body over there <laughs> so decapitated head there <laughs> try not to do that just ran out of space because i printed my pictures out for the demo all right and let's go to the bird okay so let's see sometimes uh you know starting off with a circle for the head tells you where to start off you might see just a complete body and the head that's totally fine in fact just kind of use that here look at the angle start off light kind of let yourself i call it like sculpting on paper just kind of let yourself sculpt it out really light lines first and then if you feel good about it it looks good then you can just add a couple darker lines it doesn't have to be super solid a lot of you guys want to like outline the whole thing super crisp like a cartoon not necessary and then the wing, okay? So you guys are gonna be like, okay, look at all these feathers. Those are all different shapes. Keep it simple, just simple shapes here. So let's start off with this one since it's in front. Just concentrate on the angle. Concentrate where it connects to the body. It's probably a little bit lower than that. Um, let's see where the other one kind of comes up. Really round here. Try to think about you know, connect the dots. If you had to connect the dots to these, like what would that look like? Okay, kind of rounder here. Comes around. And then the back wing. Let's go straight up, a little bit lower. Again, don't, don't worry about those smaller shapes. We'll get to that later in uh, future weeks. Little roundish triangle there if you want to add the eye go for it 
And then let's see, triangle starts about right here. Just kind of does that really loose light lines. If you wanted to, let's just a little thin triangle maybe. Those legs kind of really overlap each other. Okay. So just simple shapes there. Okay. Now just so you guys know, this is how artists all start off. You guys might be thinking, dude, Bash, what are you doing? Okay, that bird, that bird wing does not look like that. That's not how we draw. Okay, guarantee a lot of artists start off like this just to get the proportion and outline right. And then they'll get in there and you guys don't need to do this. Then they'll get in there, start drawing those wings according to what they see there and kind of dissect that space even more. Okay, don't worry about that. All right, last one, I'll kind of pick up the pace here. Let's see, this big body right out in here, it's kind of sticking out, kind of the bigger piece. I kind of see like this oval egg shape. And if you know, you guys want to print out an outline, do that too. Okay, so let's start off here. And then we got the angle. Kind of rounded. Those are our two main shapes minus the head. This comes up. Roundish head. And then the snout pops out from the head just a little bit more. Okay. Not a complete shape. I'm just going to leave the outline there. Can even do the eyes if you want. The nose. And connect those lines just a little bit. And the flippers got this weird, awkward shape. Don't worry about details. Try to get those curves or those angles right and the basic shape. Let's overlap this guy. So notice how I'm overlapping. Right over the top of that. That's how you want to draw. And then looking at the angles, looking at the size, looking at the shape. Okay. And then I'm just kind of leave it like that. Okay. Super light. Keep it light. Okay. That's what we do as artists. Start off there and then we start developing the details, start getting a little bit darker, start shading in. That's what we want for this assignment right here. Keep it simple. Look at the angles. Look at the curves. See if you can break it down in the basic shapes. Don't do any details unless you just want to plot in the eyes or the nose just for a little bit of character. But like these bird wings here, don't even worry about it. Okay. It's supposed to be a little quick. See how you dissect it. Think of it as like a very geometric puzzle almost. Okay, hope that helps. Uh, you guys have 10 to do, okay? Try to do them pretty quick. They can be really loose. I'll may put in some extra examples uh, to show you how some other artists um, kind of tackle the same approach.